So you're probably wondering what happened why that laugh just ended like that. So uh, I hit a rock right over here. And that bent the steering. You can see that part right there is bent. That's where I bounced it off the rock at. So the steering's jammed up. I can still turn right, but I can't turn left because it's bent and it gets stuck right there, right, right in there. So that's the end of that lap. It's going really good. So we got that's it for the day. So we to go home and fix that. Probably heat it up with a torch and bend it back. So, here's a view of the rock. It was actually, it wasn't actually this one I hit. There's this one right there, you can see where it's nicked. fall nice and cool now these are falling and hedge apples just random just random hedge apples there's more over there just absolutely everywhere I still didn't break it as bad as I did last time because last time when I was riding around like around uh, last December, I was like right over there and grind the corner and my throttle fell, the throttle cable broke. So I went to disc, uh, reconnect it and uh, apparently the governor messed itself up which was the, the Kempsey Power Sport engine on this and it, uh, when I started it, it took off full throttle all the way from down there. Right into there, hit the no trespassing sign went down into those trees and uh, what happened was it hit the rear right wheel hit the no trespassing sign it absolutely bent the axle so I had to straighten that out and it kept going and it hit that tree right there was the front left wishbone right there and just absolutely pushed all of it back in so I had to straighten it out and Cut the piece out and re-weld it as you can see. It's all about welded back together. The axle took a while to fix so I had to get it red hot with the oxy SL and torch and straighten it out. So I guess this accident isn't that bad compared to that one. go see the pond. It's really down. Like two months ago, the water was like way past the fire pit, like way up in here. You can see it went down like 10, 20 feet in a couple few months. More hedge apples. You get the point. Frogs.
that's where I came from. Here's the here's the drainage pipe for the pond when it when it was full it was draining out that pipe for a while. Now you can see how much it has gone down over here. Last year was a like the water level was at that stick right there, but now it's still slightly above that, but it's still gone down. That, that pipe is right there and just goes under the dam and it drains way down there somewhere over there not not going to be bothered to go down and show it because it's all thorny vines but you get the point locust tree thorns they sometimes break off and you get flat tires, which is terrible, but anyway. Highway's way over there. You could probably barely see that's what, where the water drains from the pond if it's overfilling. So go through that pipe and drains down there and goes under the road. So yeah, now I have to drive that up without being without being able to turn left. Just gotta drive up there to my truck and load it. That'll be it. Yeah. Just gotta fix the steering and it'll be good again. Probably should try fixing the this part here because it when it when I since I bought it, it's like this part here. Because you can see, like, twist the back like this. See that one straight? So you can, the steering doesn't go uh, left all the way because the tie rod end in here, this part, and you can see it's nicked. It hits that, you can't turn it all the way left. So, then since I got it, so probably should fix that just to cut, cut it out and cut the welds and pound it out and re weld it. Should fix it, but just probably just fix that for now. So yeah, I guess that's it. Sorry, eight and a half minute video.